Right, I'm just going to show you how to test a flow switch. It's a paddle one. In actual fact, it's a Grant one, uh, but it's made by Seeker. See that there? Um, but this actually will fit on a Worcester Bosch heat slave and probably various other models. What I found, I've ordered one the other day and I put it on to the boiler and well, there's various other things gone wrong with the boiler um, and assuming that the new one I'd got was all good. Um, well, it turns out it wasn't. So I ended up buying a PCB board and now I've come back to the switch again, bought another one and this is how it should test. Oh, you put it on ohms loop on your test meter and when I flick the paddle, turn it like that, you will see a deflection. So that's showing you that the switch is working on, off, on on off on off and that's basically how to test it if you take it off your boiler put that on say on off on off simple the previous switch i got which was brand new all packaged up unfortunately it was faulty and it was coming up with a full loop which meant it didn't switch on it, it, it was on completely now this switch is a fraction of the cost of the um, Worcester Bosch one because it comes with all the plumbing fittings, they want about 100 quid plus, this is £37 uh, off of Amazon. Um, just got to make sure you turn the stop valve off and then you unwind it, you have to carefully sort of twist this on to the thread of the brass, make sure the an arrow there that's the flow that way flow then you pull your wires take them through that little slot down there in the corner here's the PCB board um, goes there to the flow switch well I had to cut off the original and I've got to connect it to that because that plugs in there and what I found that goes to there. I found on these wires, there's two and a one. You put the two to the top one, and the one to the bottom one, and I'm using, I've got to cut these connectors off, cut them off, strip the wires, and I'm using one of these chop block connectors just to connect it through. And then obviously I've got the original, I can plug in the brain. I've wired it up just temporarily now just to test it. As you can see that's what I've done there and you should hear a clicking when the flow which is it clicks down there to the relay. Okay did you hear that? And again again hear that and then it clicks and if it's working as it should do it then fires up the burner as well and then operates the pump. Unfortunately I bought a PCB board as well. <laughs> 